Hey guys, welcome back. So, in the previous video, we have set up our voting and getting up. So, in this one, let's set up a way to climb up the walls. So, I also have like comment these if you are. So from here let's go ahead and start doing our climbing. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, okay, let's add a branch here and we'll need this, bra this branch for something but first let's do Let's copy this part here and next we want to also copy this copy this whole thing like I said our work was done and make sure it's easier to just reuse your notes so for this one let's find the climbing animation and let's see how much time it takes to climb up so it takes around one second let's make this one and after you're done climbing up let's check if the wall is thick so after climbing up if the wall is thick then we will reset our movement and if the wall is not thick we want to do another animation and this one is going to be the jumping down from wall. Let's also check how much time it takes. So it takes around 1.8 seconds. So let's say 1.7. And after that, let's reset this one. So now, if we go inside our game, and you can see it's climbing up, but the offset is pretty off. So let's fix that. So over here, let's decrease this and something like 30 also let's send this to something like 45 44 so now you can see he can climb up and it looks right and also the voting is working and now if I take this one duplicate it make it less thick you can see it goes up and then he climbs down so yeah this is actually what I have right now but there is some problems you might face let me just show you something so if we go inside our starter content and let's just grab the window and if we duplicate this one so let's say you have created 
a modular building using this. So now if I jump and want to climb, you can see he's going through the wall. But how voting works, that's fine. But once you want to do this, he goes through the wall. And the reason behind this is if I go to Wi-Fi mode, you can see there is an edge over there. And once the edge is detected, you can just go through the wall. So to fix that, what we need to do is before we execute any of this climbing function, we want to do a few checks. So first let me just comment this one. So before we go in this, we want to check if we can climb. So set this to can climb. And so over here, let's copy line trace for object. And Actually, we want to do this before we do the branch. So first, we want to check if anything is so. The first thing we want to do is check if something is over our head. So we will do a trace straight up. So to, to do that, let's first get the actual location and that's going to be the starting point and we will go up to 150 units and that's going to be the end point. So you can see once we have detected, oh well there is another line going up so the next one we want to do is we want to check if there is another wall over the front wall and to do that actually before we do this one we want to check if it hits anything if the line actually hit anything if it did If the line hits anything, we want to set can climb to false and proceed. So again, this one, if it hits anything, we want to set it to false. And for this one, we want to take this part here. Let's decrease this one to 100. And this is going to be our starting point for the ending one just take the arrow get word vector and now multiply this by a float and then add it to our locate well, loca uh, actual location and this is going to be our end point now before we go in here what I like to do is set can climb to true. So if none of this these hit can can climb will be true and we will climb up the wall. So this way if there is a wall over it we won't climb up but there you can actually do this one so if there is a window over it you'll climb up and maybe if you like have 
a second story building you can like just jump and go inside so this is going to be the end of this series I am not planning to do a application version of it because I don't think that's actually the problem and I have also already done one so you can just copy it from there and thanks for watching I hope this one was helpful and I got to explain stuff and yeah thanks for watching please subscribe if you are new to my channel yeah goodbye